Ah, yeah, back up in this piece, you know what I'm saying, with my special guest, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah, straight up and down. So let's just start off with getting everybody's name. Let's start off over here with my man. This little lazy bone. All right. I'm with. Look busy in this. <laughs> Busy bone. It's crazy bone in there. Okay, we got crazy bone. And what's up? I'm flesh and bone. <laughs> it's the 25th annual American Music Awards. And the winner is. Bone Thugs and Harmony. I'd like to thank the whole record industry, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, our fans. Mo Thug you know Records, Mo Thug. Mo Thug Records, all our artists, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that's blowing up right here now representing the industry, period. Talk to the Armageddon, Lord, you know that I won't fly by that lesson who told me to put a mouth on the ground. The late, great Easy E. You know what I'm saying? We met Easy E around it. the last month of 93. Shit, before we even left, you know what I'm saying? We was just bullshitting around, you know what I'm saying? Like, just like telling motherfuckers in the hood, like, yeah, and then we finna leave out here and go get with Easy E. Easy E, the OG, the hip hop the CPT. If we used to get with anybody, you know what I'm saying? We'd get with Easy E, you know what I'm saying? Because he the underdog right now. Well, actually, we went to. We went to L.A. with Easy e in mind, because at the time he had straight off the streets of Compton out, you know what I'm saying, with BG Knockout and all them. We told motherfuckers, we was like, y'all ain't going to see us until we come back to this motherfucker with a video crew. And when we came back, we came back with Easy e and a motherfucking video crew. When we was looking for him, you know, we made some phone calls to his, uh, his office and everything. These motherfuckers been calling me, bugging the shit out of me. You should at least call these motherfuckers back. You know, one day he just happened to call us back after about three weeks. You know what I'm saying? He called us back. Me personally, I was going through hard times. I was on the mission walking by myself. Later, you know what I'm saying? He was down there and shit. He was like, um, we was down there hustling, you know what I'm saying? He had left to go try to get on welfare. You know, I answered the phone, you know what I'm saying? But I had to use the bathroom. Just when they said, let me speak to Bone, I passed the phone to Busy. Crazy Bone and Busy, the flesh took the call. I hear him talking and shit. He's like, yeah, what's up? What's up? Such and such. And then, and then I heard this break like, what? This Easy E. The Easy E from Ruthless Records. Busy like, well, hold on. Listen to this right quick. And then he passed the phone to me and shit. When they called me, they had uh, a... Yeah. How, how the rap went? How that shit went? Tell me what you rapped on the phone for me. Well, crazy bone, this book, 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 and the ones again. The suckers, they pick up, they pin, and then they try to get 10 but say, go that they win. It's dead, Mac 10, it's blasting. Pick up my gun, and you're running up from the assassin. I'm popping the clip in the yes, yeah. Who in the gut was that mass man? The crew that's pulling the trigger, and just cause I'm slimmer, they figure they bigger, but when you consider this killer, this still in your cap. Don't want them folks just rolling the pack, the strap, so pack your gad. If I see you like I'm a seat with the mind, still when you're up and back up and you're done. We all sitting around the motherfucking phone waiting and shit, but you know what I'm saying? He never called us back, you know what I'm saying? That day, we like, damn, this motherfucker was bullshit. More weeks, and we found out he was doing a show in Cleveland. So, I, so once we found that out, we hustled up enough money to get back to Cleveland. We hustled, we called on our family, you know what I'm saying? Western Union was jumping, you know what I'm saying? We like Western Union, that shit, you know what I'm saying? We can get these tickets. We, we hustling, cash and shit, pawn and shit in, you know what I'm saying? Just anything, you know what I'm saying? We had hookups through Cleveland because we had already had a, a little underground tape out. Busy and uh, Flesh, they got backstage and me and Wish, you know what I'm saying? We was uh, we was chilling like, damn. After the show was over, we just ran up on Easy e rapping. Because the muffers wouldn't let us backstage for shit. We like, fuck it, man. We just hope them niggas put it down, man. We just sat out there and waited on him, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, he was just the coolest motherfucker to kick it with. And he was like, y'all the niggas who was rapping to me on the phone and shit, they was, they was like, yeah.
did. He was like, all right, then come on in here. The very next day, we had one-way bus tickets to uh, L.A. We was like, we'll leave right now with you. We ain't got shit to take. We ain't got nothing. We'll, we'll leave this motherfucker right now. Nigga 17 kicking it with a star. It don't get no better than that. You know what I'm saying? We just was kicking it with him like it wasn't no thing, getting so smoked out. We couldn't do nothing but hook up again. To me, he the realest. Everybody else got too much drama going down. Bottom you know line, it was real because we kicked it on the same level. Right about now, I got a little something I want to give the guys myself. It's a double platinum album, yeah. and they deserve it. Don't y'all think so? We dedicate this here show tonight to so all our ruthless family in the house tonight, because we about to rock this here. Basically, the first dive, you know what I'm saying, it's like we was just all pumped. We was just anxious to do something, you know what I'm saying? So we just went in there and just laid some stuff down real fast just to get some mountains. Because that's how he wanted it too, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to get us out to the world so quick. He was just like rushing us and shit. A couple of, couple of different producers on that first album, you know what I'm saying? We fuck with Rhythm D, we fuck with Yellow Boy, and um, the rest was Unique, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Unique was a nigga, like, we really clicked off with. You know what I'm saying? From the jump, you know what I'm saying? Because he came with the. I think the first shit we put down was the No Surrender shit, you know what I'm saying? The first No Surrender with the. You know what I'm saying? When he came with that beat, you know what I'm saying? We was just like, oh yeah, this the shit. He got the tracks. And then, then he came with Creeping on the Come Up, you know what I'm saying? And like on the first time, you know, niggas going in and just knock it straight out.
Cleveland, you know what I'm saying? We like shit. We, <laughs> we was like shit, little split, little dark ass city down way back down the way somewhere. But motherfuckers wouldn't believe that we wasn't from LA though, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers wouldn't believe that for nothing. We tell them motherfuckers we from Cleveland, they be like, man, y'all niggas got to be from out here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I guess, you know what I'm saying? Because how we here, because you know what I'm saying? We came out in that motherfucker with braids and shit. I guess, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they kick it, shit. We came out in that motherfucker with braids and shit. You know what I'm saying? The little khakis and shit or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's how motherfuckers kick it in the land. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to basically be based in Cleveland forever. You know, we ain't dissing L.A. or nothing like that. We okay. love L.A. This is our second home, you know what I'm saying? But we just got to take it home. We got to keep it real. That's where we from. You know, we got we to get our city time. like anyway, We got to get our city like this. <laughs> Right now, I'm gonna help you get yours by playing their first video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give it up to the thuggish ruggish. Give it up to the hook. Give it up to the hook. Thuggish ruggish. Thuggish ruggish, baby. Yeah. Crazy platinum. It's 1999. The second album, it was like, we took more time on that because, you know what I'm saying, everybody just got to a level where they just had to have a, a versus perfected, you know what I'm saying? Where they start taking like two hours a piece in the studio. And yeah, I love the first album, don't get me wrong, but the second album, it ain't. Um, <laughs> first album ain't got nothing on the second album, put it like that. Shocked there, that shocked everybody, us too. With the East 1999 debuting at number one on the billboards, but you know, we got much love for everybody that's watching us, that love us. And you know, hey, we gonna keep doing it for y'all, y'all keep getting it back to us. Much yeah. love. A lot of people don't paint it, but easy in the album cover too, if you look close, be right in the um window looking down on us to let everybody know he's still with us, you know what I'm saying? You gotta pin everything we do, Easy E gonna be still right there with us, everything. Somewhere. Everywhere, Easy E gonna live with Bone forever. We do sit back and think like, damn, man, we got a, we got a motherfucking Grammy at the house. <laughs> we done did, you know what I'm saying, we done did some shit. You know what I'm saying, but it ain't, it ain't really, it ain't really, you know what I'm saying, no shit like it's going to our heads and no shit like that. It's cool, you know what I'm saying, we put it up on the shelf with everything else, with all the other achievements, you know what I'm saying? Just look at it from time to time and just smile. <laughs> Shit. The next video, just off the hook. They got to see it, you know what I'm saying? It's 1999, it's off the hook. 
Well, East 99 basically, East 1999 basically, because we believe that the world coming to an end. So, you know, that just go with like, go with our kind of our rebel look we going with nowadays. You see us in our, uh, y'all gonna be seeing it, us in a lot of um, army fatigue, you know what I'm saying? Because we straight soldiers. East 99, you know what I'm saying? I'm, shit, we, we probably talk about that shit so much because basically 99th is just the spot where we, the last block we was on, you know what I'm saying? The last block we claimed, you know what I'm saying? We was, it was, it was in the hoods, you know what I'm saying? You claim the whole hood, but, but you know what I'm saying? It's just some certain blocks where the shit just be popping at, the, at a certain time, you know what I'm saying? And that's when we left, we left, um, we left remembering that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? 99, that's what we got down and dirty at, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Did all the, did all the dirt. And but 99 was where, where we was really on the motherfucker thugging. So to hook it, it ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? Just picture a whole bunch of futuristic things going on. It's 
It's a lot of poverty where we from, you know what I'm saying, and we just want to help, you know what I'm saying, let the kids show all the kids they ain't, it ain't got to be that hard, you know what I'm saying, just show them different avenues. Little kids out there that don't got nothing, you know what I'm saying, that listen to us though, you know what I'm saying, so it's like, we ain't always on TV talking about Rolexes and, you know what I'm saying, Mercedes Benzes and all that shit, it ain't even all about that all the time, you know what I'm saying, because they don't got it like that, so they can't relate to that. This is hard than a motherfucker out here, man, you know what I'm saying, and, and, it ain't no equal opportunity. I don't give a fuck how you look at it. Opportunities ain't equal, you know what I'm saying? We from, um, came from shit to sugar, man. So when we got that check, we'll take that check and make it three times what it was. We'll flip that shit. That's why we sing about the first of the month. But you know, it's a motherfucking holiday if you ain't living in the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Always keep your goals aimed high. Always aim for the stars, you know what I'm saying? Always. And that's all I just want to just teach them to be strong. Don't let no, don't let the world, you know what I'm saying, just put no non-belief in you because that's what it's going to try to do. First of the run in my shoes, we dug so real. It's the first of the 
gotta grind, gotta get mine. In the hood that I claim, and I swing on the double nine. Gotta find them dudes. Only got four to get a thug, get love. What's up? Come and thug on my corner, baby, be a donut. Say, clear thugs don't like that. And selling them dummies, making that money. Come back, all of it is still crack. From the first to the fifteenth, but the most to the But I gotta see, gotta come up. Put it all in the cup. Wanna get blow in the corner stove. Grab a couple of loads, time to roll to the bag. Got my pop and add it to the stash. Gotta watch my back, see, play your head, be out to rob me. Fools, but never know shows and no losses. Don't make you bend these buses up off me. See, cut this up a whole block. Spin a cup of beer. Uh, burn a lot of green on the wake fur. Up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, get 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 up, Like it wasn't no thing getting so smoked out. Just relaxing, you know what I'm saying? We in the studio just, just writing and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I love it. <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? We, shit, I love smoking weed, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think there's shit wrong with it, you know what I'm saying? There's something wrong with it, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, there's something wrong with everything in this world we do. You know what I'm saying? Riding around, getting your thing on, you know what I'm saying? With your crew, <laughs> yeah. chilling. Yeah. That's yeah. how we be doing it, man. You can't change that. You know? Just thugs. Just thugs. Yeah, we sing about what's real, you know what I'm saying? That shit is real, it's here. It's popular with, with motherfuckers today, you know what I'm saying? So shit, it's an issue. We shot, uh, we shot Buddha Lovers about, what, four days ago? Yeah, we shot that.
with MTV News. In more soulful news, Cleveland's Bone Thugs and Harmony appear to have taken out a lease on the Billboard chart where the group's hit single, The Crossroads, has held the number one position for seven weeks now. The version of the tune on Bone Thugs' album East 1999 Eternal was inspired by the death of the group's mentor, the late Easy e But after being struck by another loss, Bone Thugs went back in the studio to adjust the song for the single. Here's the story. Bone, 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 bone. Tell me what you gonna do. Cleveland's Bone Thugs and Harmony aren't usually compared to Mariah Carey. However, they both dominated this year's pop charts with number one songs about the loss of a loved one. The pop sound of the Crossroads remix is a major departure for Bone Thugs, who wrote the original album cut for their late mentor, Easy e who died of AIDS in March of 95. It was like a blow to us, man, you know what I'm saying? Because we was like living like a fantasy, just now getting on into the rap world, and then it was like, boom, he was gone. And we thought our dreams was happening, and then our dude, our mentor was gone, you know what I'm saying? So it kind of felt like it was all over, you know what I'm saying? know which way somebody. to turn. While their 1995 album, East 1999 Eternal, took off, the group experienced even more loss, including Wishbone's uncle and Crazy's cousin. Those tragedies inspired Bone to remix Crossroads and add new lyrics. Because, you know what I'm saying, during the success, we was losing a lot of people. So we know we had to do it again, you know what I'm saying, mention some more people and plus put it out there for a single so everybody can feel it. Easy it like hit home with a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, because it put everybody in, in that mind state of a loved one that they lost. Everybody, everybody was through death. 
It was Easy E who introduced Bone Thugs to West Coast producer DJ Unique. Unique conceived the Crossroads remix, and now he's a valued member of the group. I just uh, put, put all the music together, you know what I'm saying? And uh, just try to have it to, to where like they can really vibe off of it and come up with a good concept, you know what I'm saying? So that means that the beats has got to be real tight, you know what I'm saying? It's got to be real, you know, smooth, but it's still got like a dark feel to it. Bone Thugs and Harmony are already working with Unique on their next album, which promises a more mature sound. Yeah, yeah, we growing, you know what I'm saying? Don't so, learn more, you know what I'm saying? So we got just, more to talk about so now. Just, just so just respect. It's got to expect, you know what I'm saying? But we don't even want to even too much even holler about it. Just want to describe yeah. it. Just yeah. like, yeah. we on. The next one going to be the vibe. Y'all you know tell what us saying? if y'all like it. See you at the crossroads. See you at the crossroads. So you won't be lonely. Motherfuckers in Harmony hope to have a new album out in the fall. That's the news for now. We'll be back with more later here on MTV. You know what I'm saying? So that really, that shit was inspired by death. You know what I'm saying? Crossroads was inspired by death. It's death itself. Yeah, you know, easy pass, and I put a big, like, it messed us all up, because, you know, that was our dude. That was the true original thug, Easy e comp, you know, Ruthless Records. He put us down. If it weren't for him, we wouldn't have none of this. That's why I always wear this right here, because y'all remember some of his first videos. He used to wear one just like that. Um, shit, he died, like, right before our second album was going to come out. He's 1999. Shit, he died right before that. Right before that shit. And if we can make get the message out and somebody can get into an argument with somebody and jump into their car on their way home to get their gun and hear one of our songs and be like, no, that ain't the way, you know what I'm saying? Our, our purpose, you know what I'm saying? Our services was done. But right now, we're going to go to the crossroads. Number one in the country, baby. Let me hear it. Well. And I'm gonna miss everybody. And I'm gonna miss everybody. And I'm gonna miss everybody. 
Our way of telling the world, you know what I'm saying? It's like our book on how to deal with life. So like I said about the art of war, it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's a motherfucking survival kit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Batman found us. <laughs> you know? Batman came and found Bone Thugs. Said they was looking for some hip-hop stuff, you know what I'm saying? A couple hip-hop tracks on the... Um, soundtrack so they came my record company played them looking to my eyes you know what i'm saying and they really they really jumped on that
and let it roll wherever I go. To the footage, you don't wanna be a killer, but I gotta get down from mine, that's for sure. Here you are, big cloud in mind, you can rhyme, the style you got is all mine. And when I see you, jump on in your pockets, double time. And it's like that, you don't want that, come and get something. Wanna sound like, wanna be like, uh, now you know we can't have that. Why you gonna run about your phone, rap, Latin the raps? Get about this stuff that ain't doing nothing, trying to make something out of nothing, bug it, let's go. Literally put him down, boom, put him in this place. You wanna be fighters, you fighters, you fighters, you fighters, you fighters, yeah. Now look into my eyes, bet you see a really good thug putting it down with harmony, harmony. Everybody knows it's got to be somebody that, you know what I'm saying, put us all here, and it's got to be a reason for everything that happens, you know what I'm saying? We ain't just poof, you know what I'm saying? And we here, and it's all kind of shit, technology and all of that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a guy, you know what I'm saying? We got to recognize him. Well, we've been through all types of churches, Baptist, Jehovah's Witness, Christianity, Muslims, all that. We just put everything together. Try to bring it together as one, since it's, everybody agrees it's only one up above. So that's what we all about, a whole conglomerate of religions. I read scripture from time to time. Not as much as I should, you know what I'm saying, but shit, the motherfucking world is ending. Motherfuckers need to wake up and realize the shit. Motherfuckers need to be trying to worry about, worrying about, you know what I'm saying, being saved, you know what I'm saying? Repenting and shit. And if I can teach, it's our way of telling, you know what I'm saying, the world to be more humble, you know what I'm saying, listen to somebody sometimes, hear both sides of the story.
to work and shit. We rapping, but we still living like criminals. <laughs> we still living like thugs. Shit. I'm just on the mission to let motherfuckers know about this, uh, about this fucked up ass world and shit. And basically to just let motherfuckers know, you know what I'm saying? Shit, just how it, just how it really is and shit. And what bone, what bone really is, what bone, what we do, you know what I'm saying? Why we do what we do, motherfuckers think shit is, motherfuckers probably think we crazy as fuckers, you know what I'm saying, the, all the members don't always be there all the time, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers probably always think we broke up and shit, but shit, that's, the, that's just some shit I don't never think gonna ever happen, I don't break it up, you know what I'm saying, we'll start rapping before we break up, you know what I'm saying, bottom line. Then I explode like a fucking grenade, nigga. Fuck off, time to bring me along. Break the niggas out of prison, killing all the guards. Woo! I'm with the people, people giving people the power to put it down in your city. And fuck them little bitties, nigga. I can't stand up, motherfucking popo. When we start killing these bitches and taking no more. Yeah, I'm still known to think that I claim, although we all be on the thing. And you can say I roll with a gang. And just some team checkers in the lane. So nigga, continue with the rope. I say the real shit, stop it, shit. Hey, nigga, body, 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 body. Yeah, nigga, we have a lot of murders, but they take the tie round. Flipping the flow to let 